All right, so in this one, we're supposed to find the area between the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 9 and the x-axis over the indicated intervals, so from 0 to 2 and then 2 to 4. So again, let's go ahead and graph that. And so really, the only thing that's going to change, because the x-axis, that's going to be this one, so that's going to be y equals 0. So the only one we're going to have to change is this one, and we're, instead of that, we're going to have minus 9. Okay, so now we're going this direction, okay? And we're going to go from zero to two, so that's gonna be one interval, so we're gonna to to go from here to here, and our next one, we're gonna go from two to four. So notice here, we're gonna go from, it's the, the, the x-axis is gonna be, you know, greater than the actual f of x, and here, f of x is gonna be greater than our g of x. So we're gonna to have to write those in appropriate manner to get that to work. So if I can draw this, it's gonna look something and so it's going to go down negative nine or so. And we know that this is going to be at uh, three. And so if we're going to go from two to four, two is going to be somewhere here. Four is going to be somewhere here. So, you know, it's not exactly drawn as good as the one on thing. But we're going to have a part that here is positive, a part here that's negative. This one, the whole thing, if we uh, draw that, uh, let's maybe, do we have highlighter? Yes, yeah, do highlighter. So this piece up to two is going to look like that. But the other piece, uh, let's do green maybe. We're going to have, you know, that piece and we're going to have that piece. And if we make it stay this time, maybe, maybe not. So we'll have that kind of thing. All right, so... What we have to think about is uh, we're going to go from, and here, here's two ways we can think about this. We could always do, you know, this one minus the other one, and we could do, you know, this one minus that, but we're going to have to change the sign of the whole thing. Or, again, we can just go, okay, we're going to go from 0 to 2. Now, this x-axis is going to be the first one, so we're going to take 0 minus the x squared minus 9, and again, that's a dx. And so we're going from 0 to 2 on that. So we take the integral. Well, that goes to nothing. And so now we really have, if we write it down below, we'll have 0 to 2, my thing didn't write there, of a negative x squared plus 9 and then dx. And so when we calculate that, that's going to be a minus x cubed over 3 plus 9x. And then we have going from 0 to 2. All right, so plugging that in, if we have 2 there, that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So it's going to be a minus uh, 8 thirds. And then we're going to have plus. And here we plug in that, that's going to be 18. Plug in 0 to both of those, that's what we have. So we have basically 18 minus the 8 and put it in thirds. So it's going to be about 15 and a third or you know, 15.333, or as we up 46 over 3. All again, depending on how you want to look at that one. Now, going from 2 to 4, we have something different. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. We're going to have uh, 2 to 4, and it's going to be this, this exact thing because it's still going to be that on the top. So 0 minus x squared minus 9, and that's going to be dx. But now we're going to have to add a second piece. Now it's going to go from, actually, that's not 4. It's supposed to be a 3. Don't listen to me. All right, so that's a 3. Excuse me. And so then this one's going from 3 to 4. And so now 3 to 4. And so now it's the x squared minus 9 on top minus 0. And then dx. All right, so this one's going to come out looking the same thing here. We're going to make that a minus x squared, so it comes x cubed over 3. That becomes plus 9, so it's a plus 9x. And we're going from 2 to 3. And then we're going to add to that. Now, this becomes just x cubed over 3 minus 9x. And here we're going from 3 to 4. All right, so doing that, uh, what do we have here? Well, we know when we plug in 3, that's going to be uh, 3 times 3 times 3, so it's going to be 27 divided by 3, so that's going to be uh, 9, so it's going to be what, wait, 3 times, is that a 3? Yeah, that's a 3. All right, so that's going to be, uh, yeah, I have, okay, 
3. So minus 27 over 3 plus 9 times 3. And this is going to be plus. Uh, now, oh, actually minus. Doing all the pieces backwards here. And then it's going to be that piece minus. Now we plug in 2. So it's going to be a minus 8 over 3 plus 9 times 2. And then we're add to that. Now we plug in a four, and so that's going to be uh, four cubed divided by three, and minus nine times four, and then we'll have minus, and then we'll have down below here a little bit longer. Uh, that's going to be a three cubed, so that's going to be a 27 over three minus, and that's going to be a nine times three. And so now we have all that. So now we can plug all that into our calculator. And I'm just going to type it on the one on my desk here because it's going to take too long putting all that into the calculator. So minus 27 divided by 3 plus 27. And then minus negative 8 divided by 3 plus 9 times 2. And then plus 4 to the third divided by 3. And then we have minus 36, and then we have minus, and then we have parenthesis 27 divided by 3, minus 9 times 3, parenthesis. And we just get a simple 6 with all of that, amazingly enough. So that's our answer for that piece. All right. So uh, again, when you have the thing, you always have to take the a larger one, the positive one, the one on top, minus the one on bottom. So here the one on top is the y equals 0. The one on the bottom is the x squared minus 9. Here it's the same for the first piece, but then it switches on the second piece. So then we have to switch it back around to this one minus the other one. And then it's a lot of just plugging in and chugging and getting our answers there. All right. So let's stop there and we'll come back for more.